Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf of Carabasset Valley. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast and trail conditions brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Find them right in the village on Main Street. And you can find us online at WSKITV.com for this latest local forecast and so much more. For the day today, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies. It'll be warmer out there, 15 to 19 at the summit, 25 to 29 at the base. We'll see a noticeable breeze from the west-southwest up towards the summit. Not too bad down here around the base, so get out there and enjoy the great ski conditions out on the hill. The snow is in great shape. One to three inches of light snow could be on the way for tonight into Tuesday. 22 to 26 at the summit, 30 to 34 at the base with a southwest breeze just not even noticeable up towards the summit it looks like so that is some great news little to no wind warmer temperatures and some fresh snow wednesday we're looking at partly sunny skies 31 will do it for your high 18 for your low up top thursday a chance of some snow showers with a high of 34 and a low of 23 and friday partly sunny skies and temperatures start to drop headed back into next weekend so another cool weekend but get out and enjoy the Trail conditions brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them online at birchwoodinteriors.com or right in Village West. 118 trails of ski and ride on eight lifts getting you there. There's 54 trails on the uh, groomers list and some nice packed powder conditions out there. 8.30 this morning, Stubber and Skidway will move you around the base area. Super Quad and Skyline will get you a little higher up on the hill. Those lifts pretty much get you anywhere you need to go. Double Runner will get going as well at 8.30, 9 o'clock. Timberline, the uppermost lift, is scheduled to run winds and weather permitting today. And King Pine and Wiffle Tree, the east side lifts, those get going at 9 o'clock this morning. King Pine, more expert terrain. Wiffle Tree, more intermediate terrain. Uh, they did groom out Widowmaker and Flume, so check that out over on the east side. Stay tuned for more snowmaking as they finish up their year here in the near future. And Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, and Sluice all groomed out Central Mountain Trails, as well as Wedge, uh, Gondola Line, Lower Winter's Way, Candyside, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook down below the base area. On the east side, they got to, uh, definitely got to Widowmaker and Flume, Ram Down, uh, Wiffle Tree and Two Hall, as well as Cruiser, Slasher to get you back over towards the base area, and Rollway, and the west side got groomed out as well. Scoot and Windrow. The Sugarloaf Outdoor Center has got great conditions out there. Call if you're looking to use the ice rink as they've been uh, struggling to get that uh, opened up and cleared off as they've been focusing on grooming out there. Did notice that the groomer was out on the narrow gauge pathway as well. And uh, the Carabasa Valley Fat Bike Trails, things are soft out there, so get out there with your snowshoes or very low tire pressure and just take it easy. The snow is excellent for snowmobiling. If you want to find out more about snowmobiling in the area, arnoldtrailsnowmobileclub.com. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where you'll find us on social media as well as our website, wskitv.com, with this latest local forecast and our live quad cam shot so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. And if you want all of our latest local content, live show content, uh, when we're out and about, things like that, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Have a great day. Enjoy the snow, folks.